Yeah, we'll, we'll just cover this real quick and then we'll transition to what Coach John wanted to. Uh, beyond those drills, there's a couple other things we wanted to share with you. This will go real quick. This is just an example. You guys probably all have the same thing. We all, we all do this. This is just an example of, of our defensive goals we set for each game. The ones in red are the ones over the last four years that each successive year we've got better at achieving more often. So we obviously have work to do on uh, 1, 3, 5, 8, 9, and 11 um, to continue to get better, but these are just examples of, of, of our goals that we have, and, and they, they may vary from year to year. Uh, we make any adjustments on the numbers or feel one's better or worse, but uh, that just gives you an example of of, of what we have out there, and I'm sure you know all of us in this room have, have the same similar concept. Uh, the other other thing I wanted to share with you guys, or we did as a staff, besides the indie drills, you know, in a drill-based concept, is our our uh, our ideas and, and concepts we institute each practice in pursuit. Um, many times at our school, we are uh, are average to undersized. We've been fortunate to have some size on defense the last two years, but that's the exception more than the rule. So like, like all of us in here, we understand the importance of pursuit and pursuit properly. And, and I was always looking for different ways to do pursuit drills and we did a number of different ones. So Coach John over here who's got a wellspring of, of experience and, and loves researching these things, we, we gave him and he volunteered to be kind of our pursuit coach. We researched some different ways we could institute pursuit uh, drills and how we could advance them into different individual skills and drills for our defense. So I'll let John use the board kind of talk about some of our pursuit drills. Okay, thanks coach. Um, I was given the opportunity to either decide to be their coach or volunteer, so it was real simple. I volunteered. Uh, but what we did is every practice we have a session of five to seven minutes of pursuit. It can come at any time in practice. It can come right after we loosen up. It can come in the middle. You can come at the end if we have to, but there's always a pursuit drill that we incorporate with our practice. So what I'm going to do here is I drew it up on the board for you, very simple. Here is the goal post, here is the goal line. Coach, me standing there facing, and we put the kids in groups of sixes, and they have to come out. Everybody does this. Soccer, all, everybody that's on varsity that practices all partakes in the pursuit drill. So no matter where it is, everybody's getting their running. Okay, so what we do is we set this up very simply. Six guys, they all come out, they're about five to six yards behind, facing me. And I will say, set, go. They will chop in place. I will blow the whistle. They will hit the ground. And then we'll have on either sideline, either six or three cones, depending. For the first initial drill, we have six cones. And what they will do is they will take off from their positions that I point to and wind up at one of these cones. They cannot line up behind coach. You miss the drill, we do it over again. Everybody has to find their own cone. So when we do that, everybody's chop, 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 whistle, boom, they spread. And they don't follow each other. They all go into a separate cone. Okay. After we do that, one day, the next day we'll come back, we'll break it off this way, okay, and we'll put the six again, and they'll come out in groups of sixes, and now we'll have three cones on each side. And what we'll do is we'll do the same thing, we'll chop in place, they'll run, they will get to the cone, but before they do that, they will cross. This gentleman goes to this cone, this gentleman to that cone, and so on and so forth down the line. The first day we do it, it's great because everybody bumps in, everybody, and they're running and yelling, the coaches are screaming. But after the second or third time we do it, they are positioned because now they're talking to them. I got first, I got second, you got the third, you take that one, I got this one. Watch where you're going. So the kids are not only communicating, which, hmm, football communication, no, we don't want to do that. But now they're running, they're not hesitating, okay? Because most of us all do the 11 people in line. You step and we all run over here to this cone and I'm over here and everybody's bumping in each other. Now we're getting reps in five to seven minutes where the teams, the whole team, everybody's moving together. And we got a good run. They got a good workout in five to seven minutes every day with pursuit. Well, the last one we added, this was 
kind of coaches Sean's idea. The third one that we do is we line up in the same position. Again, kids are creatures of habit. You might as well keep them in that situation. So we line them up in six. We'll now cross them on the set. But now we've added the tackle wheels. And they love this. By the middle of last year, they were flying at those six. They were running so damn fast to get there to tackle that wheel. And the coaches were having fun. They're just wheeling those suckers out there. And we're going right and we're going left. So we not only got our tackling in, we got our agilities in, and we had some fun with the kids. And after each practice, they said, that was fun. We can do that tomorrow. Well, no, we got to change it up a little bit. We can't keep doing the same thing. Coach, just so yeah, I mean, we'll have a coach at each cone. These are spaced about five yards apart. Sometimes we'll have, like Coach said, six all to one side, six to the other side, or we'll have three and three. But then some, some of these will have a wheel. Some we may have a shield where they got to club up to a shield. Uh, some we then may roll a ball out, and they've got to recover a ball. So we're kind of com combining uh, not only pursuit drills, pursuit concepts, with some tackle concepts, with some turnover concepts. So it, it, that, that variety has, has helped us a lot, and, and as Coach has said, has, it, it has really gotten us to get the kids, you know, get, they get enthused about it as opposed to just kind of going through the motions. And we're trying to mimic and get them to communicate too, is don't follow the same path. You know, proper pursuit angles to the ball, um, and then again, we all incorporate these different things, and Coach has done a great job with it. So. And you get the captains yelling at the kids who are kind of sitting in the background that don't want to run. You know, you got those. Everybody's got those on the team, you know. So they're pushing them forward. Everybody gets their turn. Everybody's out there in the sixes, and everybody's moving, you know, and everybody's moving. So you, you keep the continuity. And in five, six, seven minutes, we're done, and we're on to our next thing, either offense or defense or special teams. So you're not taking a lot of time out of your practice, fellas, okay? You can afford to do that in your time frame, and I'm sure you're like we are. We're all time. Everybody has their sessions and so on and so forth, but this doesn't take any time away from, from any of our stuff. You know, so that is something that we've incorporated and that's something that we, we have found to be very successful for us. And we have gotten quicker over the past three years. And I think a lot of this has to do with what we are doing in practice. Uh, read a book a long time ago. Uh, we try to teach our kids how to practice. And if they like doing this stuff, they're going to practice at it. And they enjoy it, and they'll come to practice to do it that way. So that's part that we wanted to add. Coach wanted us to kind of mention that a little bit about what we do with our pursuit. Uh, we wanted to show you our defensive philosophy as far as what we do. Um, if there are any questions, we have a few minutes that we can maybe yeah. ask. Or if we yeah. can... If anybody's got any questions, please feel free. I mean, we're all football coaches. If there isn't, isn't that's okay. Uh, we'll, we'll be here till, uh, till after lunch. So if anybody does have some questions, they can ask us. Again, there's our information. Matt Kern's our head coach. He does a great job. Um, and there's all of our, our email addresses. Um, you know, we're fortunate. We, we have a really good cohesive staff. We enjoy coaching together. Uh, we're at a, at a great school. Uh, and we got good kids and good families. So we're in a real fortunate situation. And uh, we, we sure enjoy doing this together as coaches. So if there's anything we can ever help you with, you think, that'd be great. I mean, we certainly ask for help all the time. We're always looking to get better. And, I'm sorry, go ahead, Coach. So on this pursuit drill, on that first coach sitting on that circle there, around the cone, I'm not going to be that coach. I'm going to be another coach over on the yeah, – and I have a wheel. Um, and I'm doing something. Which way am I rolling the wheel? How is that working exactly, I guess? What would be – an example Example would be, let's say we're doing that cross drill. So they're, they're chopping their feet, they hit the ground, and they know they're going to they're gonna angle this way, okay? So they know they're going to one of these three. So let's say you're the coach right here. You got the kid coming here. You're probably going to angle the wheel this way. Okay, or I may angle it this way. Or I may wait till he gets four feet from me and then go that way. So he's got to redirect. But I'll usually work it in this direction. If this coach has got a wheel, he'll work it in this direction. So work a little bit in concert so it's going to be that kind of a bend to it so we don't have any collisions. I don't think like we've that. ever done the wheel with six guys on one side. Sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll off it. It's usually point. only three. Yeah. yeah. We may have a wheel, uh, a wheel and a ball, uh, a shield. A lot of times, or, or that club up thing, they'll just come to air. And they, what we'll do is, is, is they'll come, if, if a coach doesn't have anything, They'll come to the cone, 
Our term is to come to balance, break down, whatever term it is. So we all come to balance. They got to come to balance before the cone, and so they have control of their body, and then club up to give us an air, you know, that air tackle. Just so they're they're finishing the drill with some sort of concept. So I mean, the pursuit drill could finish in any of four different ways: a dummy, a shield, uh, a ball, a club up. Um, you know, four or five things. And, and the first time we ran it, coaches, uh, I didn't have the wheels. But I put on one side wheels and one side nothing. Everybody wanted to go to the side where the wheels were because they were having more fun. So then we had to incorporate the wheels <laughs> so we could, you know, tackle and bring a football. And then we got the, the the shields and everything else. And then it was fine because then they didn't know what they were going to get, so they had to adjust to like like in a game situation, fumble, club up, whatever, you know. So you had four different things for them to look at. So uh, it's been good for us, and I'll keep researching, look for other things that we can add to it and uh, go from there. I usually was one of the guys on the sideline, and uh, you know, if, if, if we had a group of six coming through and, and I was one of the coaches that didn't have a ball and all it was is club up, but man, this is bullshit. And they literally were getting upset that they weren't getting uh, you know, a ball or a wheel or a shield. Yeah, so that's why we changed it when it went forward everybody, so. Anything else? Yes? For the hand placement on the linebacker yeah. drills, do you teach half man, full man? I think I, maybe I missed it, but you know, where yeah, do you? We, we, yeah, we will. That, that relates to our, our gap, we're, we are a single gap defense. So yes, we will play half a man or, or, or attack the half a man. What we're trying to do here, in, just in drill work, it is, is work on hand placement at, at that, uh, that spacing and just working on the mechanics of the drill. But to your point, yes, yeah, I mean, it's going to be you know, shoulder and, uh, and chest play. Yeah, we want to play half a man.